Thanks to GSL Code S. Over here in the upper left, our first Protoss player, he is... SK Telecom T1 Teola, Jung Kyung Joo. His opponent that needs to win this game and the next, he is... KT Roster Myung Sik, Kim Myung Sik. We'll see if uh, Myung Shik can do a bit of a better job this time. If he bombs out 0-4, I'm going to be quite sad about that. I really appreciate this guy's play. Um, and look at that. That is an 11-8. Yep. So this is specifically a Zest build, I would say. This is probably 11-gate Oracle. Oh, wait. He went 11-gate 13 gas? Okay, never mind. Okay. So this, I guess this I, I is just a very quick, like... Uh, definitely a very quick Mothership core. I think Stalker and Zealot, maybe? And just go over and put some pressure on? I, I think. guess. Um, let's see. I mean, I'm trying to think of really what the, the, the real... Because, I mean, everything is on the line right now, you know? Yeah. Um, it's not like he's going to have some funny gimmick build when he's, like, in the winner's match and he already won the first game. You know? Yeah. This is clearly something he's saying, well, this is the build that has to work, and I'm going to use this now. Well, you know what? Getting a super quick Mothership Core on this map is quite nice because it flies straight across. Uh, and sometimes, you know, they won't have their Stalker there. You get there before their Mothership Core really is even out. Uh, you know, maybe you kill some probes. You definitely get to scout what they're doing. Yeah. So it's it's like a it's a cool opener. I do believe that's what he's going to do here. We'll see in a second. Maybe a, a Warp Gate Rush as well. Not completely sure. Uh... He could. I mean, this could just be... Uh, a slight variation to Zess, uh, a Levin Gate Oracle opener. We'll see. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. So quick start. I, I could have sworn he didn't get his gases on on uh, 13 probes. But I wonder if I, I don't think he would have just made a mistake here. But no, no. I mean, it, the thing is, the build could have been updated from the last time that I witnessed it. But mm -hmm. or just slightly different. Anyways, it's it's a super quick Oracle build, and it's very powerful. It's something that Zess does a lot and has a lot of power with. And Zest being on his team, it's not very surprising he's using it on this map. Um, well, let's see how hard this is actually going to hit Paralyze here. Because, you know, this is one of these builds where a few seconds difference makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're talking about an Oracle. I mean, these units deal damage so quickly. Yeah, and he it's actually, insane. He does go for Phoenix. Oh, wow, okay. Which, uh, you know, isn't that surprising considering the map. Because this is such a Stargate map that if you go Oracle and your opponent has a Stargate and goes Phoenix, you're way behind to start. Like, that is a terrible situation to go into because you just lose the Oracle uh, and your opponent has a higher Phoenix count. And then you have all this gas you spent that does nothing for you. Uh, so he's going to go ahead into Phoenix, which is, is quite strong. We got three gates here from Paralyze. The Phoenix uh, initially is just going to come in here and survey the, si the situation. And that's everything you basically needed to see. He even saw the Chrono there being used on the uh, Twilight Council mm -hmm. uh, for the Blink, obviously. Uh, more Phoenixes are gathering up now. Well, uh, we'll see what he does to try to block this now. Yeah. A couple gateways, that's fine to make a bunch of gateway units with. But he needs more than just, like, Stalkers and Phoenixes generally. Like, we've yeah. seen people do really nice holds with this. You know... Blink, obviously, you out-micro your opponent, but with Phoenixes, you can lift some units. I guess it can be done, but without... Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Uh, now, the next kid was triggered, but the Mothership core is going to go down. And really nice control here. In fact, yeah. Wow. And that Franklin Stalker does get out. Yes, it is. All three get out. That's very nice. Okay, well, this is awkward. Awkward. Huh. I wonder if he was, like, afraid of a pylon or something. I don't even... Anyways, um, all right. Well, this is a pretty epic chase scene. We're in a high pro high speed probe chase right now. I mean, I can't imagine the adrenaline rush this probe is going through right now. And you know, okay. I'm kind of excited to see how this goes, tasteless, because yeah, all the games that I remember that looked like this, where one guy had uh, stalkers and phoenixes, and the other guy had stalkers uh, with blank. Generally, the Stalker Blink guy ended up winning because you have a significant number more Stalkers, plus Blink is like the most microable thing. 
But with six Phoenixes here, like maybe... Maybe he can get something done? Um, I don't understand this warping over here, though. Well, let's let's see. This is going to be all about how they engage each other. And, you know, when uh, with PvP, the amount these guys have practiced, there might be a lot of weird properties just on this map, mm. you know? Like, oh, they'll send the Phoenixes this way, or, you know, wait over here so that you can actually blink under the Phoenixes to catch them here. Well, we'll see what gets done. This Phoenix is behind the natural at the moment. Stalker looking for said Phoenixes. Any possibilities of uh, pylons and whatnot? Yeah. Blink away. Got one. Well, now he's uh, showed what his plan is. Hope he doesn't try to go up that ramp. No, that would be a big boo-boo. Yeah. Boo-boo, the technical word for that situation. It'd be such a big boo-boo, yeah. we might want to call it a yogi. What? Isn't Yogi Bear's little friend named Boo Boo? Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot about Yogi Bear. How could you ever forget about Yogi Bear? It wasn't the best cartoon. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. It wasn't like um, Rocky and Bullwinkle. What's that show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the a good flying show. Squirrel and the Moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were great. That's you and me. You're the Moose. You're yeah. the Moose? Yeah, the Moose, yeah. I would, you would look better in that hat and goggles at the Squirrel has <laughs> for sure. For sure. I'll that go squirrel's got my voice for sure. So. Yeah. Oh, whoa. That hurts. <laughs> Four <laughs> probes not mining. Yeah. Um, well, the problem is when the Phoenix number is this high, you know, it's hard for Paralyzed to have, to, like, to muster the ability to get outside mm. and damage his opponent without the Phoenixes just coming there and killing all the probes off. Yeah. Everything dies. Each one of those Phoenixes is worth probably two, three probes minimum right now because yep. they haven't lifted that much this game. So they have a lot of energy chock on chock full of energy. Yeah. So the Phoenixes are going to come up here now. Oh, wow. They almost all have four lifts. Look at that. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to do anything just yet. Is that a lot going to town on this pylon? It's got to be a lot of hard work for that one zealot to kill that pylon. You know. I feel like uh, it's basically like if I had to, you know, take yeah, part in like an outhouse a, or something. You have to imagine it's like a punching bag or something, I think. Must be. <clears throat> so, well, Myungstick actually going to go up and do Colossus tech here. Is getting some uh, Immortals as well. It's yes. Very smart considering the amount of Blink Stalkers out on the map. Kind of a weird game. I was not expecting it to go, uh, for him to go into the three gates plus the Phoenixes and just like. I guess Paralyzed has played quite well against it, though, when you think about it, right? He's up four probes at the moment. He's got good set of tech. He's getting some upgrades. He's pretty safe. Can't really complain about it, but the thing that can be said from Youngstick is he has quite a few Phoenixes to work with, and he's really known for how good he is with air units. So uh, I'll be interested to see how he utilizes these in upcoming uh, bigger b battles with, like, death balls and whatnot. Yeah. Like, is he um, just gonna... I, you know what's funny? I actually thought this was not going to be uh, as much of an idle mid-game. Yeah. The way they were opening up, I thought it was going to be a lot more in-your-face action, but they definitely are showing a lot of respect towards each other. Yeah. And really not taking any drastic risks. I would say early that... Uh, on. Yeah, I, I guess it was Paralyze's choice, kind of. Like, Paralyze, if you want to go attack, you can do that. Ball's in your court, bro. Yeah. Uh, and then Young Chick is the one that kind of has to deal with it. But with Paralyzed just sitting at home, there's, like, Myungshik doesn't really have a choice to go in and do damage because, you know, his Phoenixes, they need to, like, go where defense is not and stuff, you know? And yeah. that's just, if he's sitting at home, he just can't go there, so he just has to sit here and wait now. But he's added quite a few gateways. Huh. He's got Colossus Tech. He's not really using it. Is he just going to try to bust him with some Immortals gateway units and a bunch of Phoenixes? Um, possibly. Let's see. Let's see what happens. See, the Colossus, Colossus is moving out across the map. Yeah, it's going to stomp on force fields. It's really all it's Yeah, for. That, that's absolutely true. And then we have a hallucinated Colossus as well. You know, I guess with, with this many Phoenixes and two Immortals, if he just picks up his opponent's Immortal, maybe he helps to win. kill off a little bit else, he might be able to just bust. Well, we're going to find out if that's the case now. The Phoenixes are in a pretty bad spot, though. Well, here we go. Uh, time warps all over the place. The Phoenix has come in and lift up quite a few units right now. It's all it's coming in oh so slowly, but after they get outside that time warp, they can be quite useful. Yeah, a lot the of them stuck, are stuck in the back. That's really bad. <laughs> yeah, definitely an issue. Um, 
kind of hard to call this battle right now. We have some more stalkers coming in here, but the those zealots really in the back. That was a pretty big mistake. Uh, do we have the uh, is the immortal gone? Uh, oh, no, there the, it is. It got picked up for a second. Yeah. Well, there's the Good. immortals are all gone now for Myungchik's side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I was talking about for paralyzed. Mm -hmm. um, well, that did not work, and I think some of that was due to the fact that we had about four to five zealots stuck in the back. Yeah, I think it may have still, still been a loss, to. but it certainly would not yeah. have been as lopsided. Yeah, and yeah. this is the phase where you want to go zealot archon. Well, Myungsuk is like in really terrible shape now. Just like, now getting his gas. It was a very, again, a very interesting opener for sure. Oh wow, Zap and the Phoenix is even. A very interesting attack, I guess, is the best way to, to put it. I've never yeah. really seen anything quite like that. Didn't well, you know, he's, he's, he's so technical that I wonder if there's like more to that, that, you know, under certain circumstances, you can just do this. Yeah, like if your opponent, I feel like because that was like a certain a level really of player that's going to do very well. Like uh -huh. The player well, that's like low pro, like a code A guy or a code B guy maybe, where they're like maybe teching a little bit too much of that point. Like, a, like your average Joe pro? Yeah. You know, um, with um, Yenshi getting these two gases this late, I, it, it's really hard to compete with a guy who's got um, Zealot Archon just being uh, pumped out so quickly. You yeah. Know? And he, he was seven probes down for a very long time. He's catching yeah. up now, but still seven probes for that long. There's been a lot more mine for Paralyze. Uh, you can see that reflected in his supply as well by over 30 at the moment. And that's almost all an army. Okay, so, well, this is pretty straightforward. Um, I believe so. Unless, uh, you know, I don't know. He, Mienchik, uh, Walls himself off yeah. with pylons or something, no, and then just decides to lose this game five minutes from now. That's literally exactly what I was this thinking. The only operates. way for him to live is to try to like maybe make gateways as a wall. Pylons don't even have enough health. I don't think gateways even do either. Yeah. Um, and so you know, Wait, I he, I think he flew in and sniped the mothership core as well with that high top Oh, uh, did he? I think so. We now, missed it. You can't blame uh, Paralyzed for the caution that he's playing with here. He's like, well, I don't know 110% that I'm going to kill that. Mm. So I'm not going to do it. Attacking up a ramp into a choke with Colossi there. Yeah. It's scary always. I think he might have still won it anyways, but uh, you want to be careful. So he's going to back up. And really all you have to do from Paralyzed's position is just stop Yunchik from having a third base and you just win. Like it's very, it's yeah. like StarCraft 101. Yeah. I mean, I well, have a base, he doesn't. Now the problem is is his, not mine. All I have to do is wait for him to try to do something, and I shut it down. Well, I think uh, at this point, it seems very likely, if I'm paralyzed here, that an all-in is going to come. Your opponent right. is committing so heavily right now to Colossus. I do like the two uh, Immortals in that War Prism. He can actually drop that wherever he needs to. Mm. If you can drop that on the side when there's not a lot of Zolts there with charge, uh, on the side of the Colossus, you can target one down really, really fast. But if there's like a bunch of other stuff on the side, then suddenly you're like missing shots with two immortals that are in a war prism, you know? Uh, he's gonna come out now, paralyzes. And let's see. Young Chick, I mean, again, this is all hinged on this one attack. I'm trying to, okay, now I got a shot of the army. I'm trying to see how the army's positioned. Um, this would probably, I think, yeah, there you go. Paralyze backs up as far as he can, and he wants to get a nice big mm. arc around this. Yeah, he wants this to look like Pac-Man's mouth, and, and the, you know, Myunchik's army is the little ball that Pac-Man's trying to eat. Yeah, and if you're not old enough to know Pac-Man, just think of Tasis's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a good angle, by yeah. the way, here for Myunchik. I mean, you can really utilize that bridge with the Zealots and the Archons, and especially the Colossi. Yeah. So he's going to have to... He'd probably trigger a mother uh, ship, uh, Nexus Cannon, excuse me, and then... Oh, oh. One Colossus is way out of position. He's trying to yeah. fix it. It's not really working. There <laughs> you go. Uh, but yeah, here we go. If he actually engages a piece of this army first, this is actually really nice from Youngshik right now. A lot of paralyzed army out of position, but look at that. He does use that Warp Prism, warping a lot behind, and uh, it looks like this is destined to fail from the beginning. Yeah, uh, I mean, complete and utter annihilation. Yeah. I mean, wow, that's going to be... Oh, gosh. Tough loss there. GG. Well, that's all right. He did get completely stomped today. Yeah. I know that I said I thought he was going to do really, really well, but this guy has a lot of potential. He does. Uh, going to the future, he plays so different he from everyone else. He like seems uh, like a really brainy player, but hasn't, yeah. he hasn't quite developed yet. No, he definitely he needs he needs more time. It's not like yeah. SOS just 
popped out of absolutely nowhere. He was a pro gamer for quite a, quite a while. See, taking the loss pretty hard there. You know, these guys really spend a lot of, of all their time training, skipped, you know. He skipped uh, four out of seven days of his vacation cases. Yeah, to, uh, to try and train Wait, no, that was paralyzing. Right? <laughs> I was paralyzed. I was just going to let that, <laughs> that one slide. No, let um, me wear that one. Let you wear that one. Um, well, uh, unfortunately uh, and sadly for Myunchik, he um, did not manage to move on. But we do have one more match. It's going to be a Protoss versus Zerg, and we're going to go to that after this short.